Hi, I'm Callie Lewis, and this is Geek Brief TV number 116, and the CES Vlogathon resumes. A journalist covering CES said CES is dead because iPhone is all that mattered today. There's a mood of, like everyone here went to the wrong party. That made sense to me because after the iPhone announcement, I didn't feel like talking about anything else yesterday. It also didn't help that I kind of sucked on MSNBC. I actually said, your finger is your most intuitive feature. In retrospect, though, isn't it? Sometimes the leaps forward in technology blow me away. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio on a display, but did you know that Sony and JVC and probably others are working on displays with a million to 1 ratios? I was reading about new wireless headphones from a company called Clear on Crunchgear. <laughs> that rhymes. They aren't Bluetooth. Clear is using 2.4 gigahertz radio with 16 channels and super fast switching. They say the technology can switch channels before a listener experiences the effect of interference. I went to the company's website to learn more and I'm really excited about what they're working on. The technology is already integrated into an MP3 player from RCA called the Jetstream. Thomas Ricker from Engadget tried it out and said it's interference free even on the crowded CES floor. And they sounded excellent. They also have 10 times the battery life that you get with Bluetooth. Sennheiser is doing something entirely different with its new headset. It's a high-end noise canceling number called the PXC450. It's smarter than the competition in that it distinguishes between mechanical sounds and the sound of a human voice. So if you're on a plane, you can cancel out the drone of the aircraft and still hear the person sitting next to you talk about his infinitely interesting career. The PXC450 will sell for about $500. A day after the Steve Jobs keynote, I've been thinking a lot about what wasn't announced yesterday. There were no announcements about monitors. You know that one is coming because Apple stopped selling the iSight cameras. There was no announcement about Leopard. There was also no announcement about a deal with the Beatles to sell Beatles music in the iTunes store. But if you watched the keynote, the first song played on the iPhone was from Sgt. Pepper. I have a feeling we can expect more announcements in the next few weeks. I'll be back later today. In the meantime, if you're looking for a domain name, head on over to GoDaddy.com and use any one of my promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3. I'm perfectly happy with a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio on a display, <laughs> but did you know that Sony and JVC and probably others are working on displays with a million to 1 ratios? <laughs> <laughs> Let's all look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read this part, Sydney? Sometimes the lighting is so hard. <laughs> Sydney, where are you going? <coughs> Another pod show video podcast. Stick it on your screen. I don't know how that came out Italian.